Hi, today we will explain you how to use shortcode in your discount offers. Now this is the first shortcode. Uh, this shortcode will be replaced with the quantity of the product which are selected based upon these rules. Now we got four or five rules which can select products. One is cart has product, cart has product of category, cart has virtual product and quantity of product from the category and the last one is shipping class shipping class so when you have this particular rules in your discount offer then the product which gets selected based upon these rules their quantity will be used over here now let's go to the checkout page Now, over here, we have made this offer for product from category Pizza, Neapolitan Pizza. Now, let's go to the menu. Now, you can see we have two products, two units and four units. They all belong to Neapolitan Pizza. So, we have got the discount as $1.12. Now, this is 4 plus 2, that is 6. Total quantity becomes 6 and there it gets multiplied with the 2. This gets replaced with the 6 and it gets multiplied with the 2, that comes out to be 12. Now, suppose you do not want to offer discount on pizza margarina. So, you take the idea of the pizza margarina, which is 659. So you put it as an excluded product. Now once I do this, the quantity of the pizza margarina that is 4 will not be used and only the quantity of pizza margarita will be used that is 2, 2 into 2 that is will be 4 so the discount will become 4 now. As the quantity of this particular product is not been used now. Apart from this, there are other attributes as well that you can use. Say you do not want, you only want to offer this discount based upon one unit of each product in the cart. So you can make it like max product quantity equals to 2. So now what will happen is it will only consider 2 units of this and 2 units of this that is 4 unit 4 into 2 that will be 8. So the discount will be 8. One second. I have mistaken over here. I have mistaken the spelling, that's why the discount did not apply. Now it will be working fine. This will become 8. Oh, sorry, it will be QTY, not full quantity. Sorry about the mistake. See, now it's 8. As we have said, the maximum quantity for each product to be is 2. So, 2 units of this, 2 units of this. These are 4 units, but it will be considered maximum 2. So, 2 plus 2, 4, and then 4 gets multiplied with 2. That's become 8. Now, if you want, you can even restrict the final maximum quantity that is like this maximum quantity say you say that maximum quantity should not be more than 3 so the final value will not go above 3 so right now you can see the maximum uh, quantity is 6 
but we have set the maximum to be 3 so it will be 3 into 2 that will be 6 See. similarly you have an another short code that is for qty now qty is the short code that is that will give you the quantity of the product in the cart that is any product that is present in your cart its quantity will be considered select product quantity will only give you the quantity of the product which match to your discount rule but quantity will give you quantity of any product that you add to the cart for example if i add this particular product to the cart even its quantity will be considered when we have this rule let me save the rule let's first remove this now you can see now we have two into quantity now we have got 2, 4, 1, that is 7 units, 7 into 2, that is 14, let's refresh the page, it is 14, see, it is considering the quantity of all the products, it also has the same attributes that we showed you earlier, like max quantity, max product quantity and excluding product as well, so let me show the difference now, let's put this So when we will be using selected product quantity, you will see it will not consider the quantity of original Italian Magreta pizza. It will be 4 plus 2, 6, 6 to the 12. Whereas if you use quantity, it will consider the quantity of all the products. it considers the quantity of all the product in your cart now you can use short codes attributes in this as well for example today products let's exclude the product pizza margarita from the total which is 661 661 now once we exclude this it will not count the pizza margarita product quantity that is 4 so it will give you the discount amount as 2 plus 1 that is 3 3 to the 6 so the discount will be 6 now one second huh? 2 3 Excluded products 661. Okay, sorry, I have excluded pizza margarita extra 31. No? Okay, this is excluded, so the quantity will be 4 plus 1, that is 5. 5 into 2, that will be 10. So it's correct, giving us 10. This one is excluded, its ID was. This ID was 661. 661. So it is being excluded. I hope this video will be helpful to you in setting the proper discount offer using our plugin.